Hey guys, welcome to this video. We're going to talk about the number of lawsuits and foreclosures in the first quarter of 2021 in Alabama. My name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection lawyer. If you've subscribed to our channel, I appreciate that. And if you have not, feel free to hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified uh, every day when we put out a new video. So let's talk about foreclosures. The number is 570. Now that's not very many foreclosures compared to back in the Great Recession. But keep this in mind, about two thirds of mortgages in Alabama and across the nation, there's really no foreclosure that can happen with those. These are federally backed loans. So we're talking about foreclosures of residential homes that are not federally backed. And uh, I didn't pull the numbers, but I can tell you once COVID hit last year, there were I mean, basically no foreclosures. And this year we've had 570. So that's definitely increasing. But a number that may be more interesting will be for each of these companies, these debt buyers and these original creditors, the number of lawsuits filed. Now, keep this in mind. Alabama is a relatively small state. I think our population is four or five million. So compare that with Florida or Texas or California, and you can start to you know, imagine the number of lawsuits that can be filed. Now, some states are still in kind of, you know, quasi lockdown. Okay. And uh, Alabama is certainly moving out of that. I think our mask mandate will be lifted in early April. Uh, but, you know, the, the courts have been open, but these companies are not filing like they used to file. But even so, you know, this is for the first three months. So we have Calvary 622. So, you know, it's a couple hundred lawsuits a month filed just in Alabama. Look at LVNV. It's over a thousand lawsuits a month. So think about what is that per day? If it's 10 per day, that's 300 a month. So this is like 30, 35 lawsuits a day being filed in Alabama by LVNV. Midland's a couple thousand. So, you know, that's what, 700 a month? So maybe 22, uh, 23 a day being filed. Portfolio recovery, this is actually very surprising. Uh, I would say last year, or if you took the 12 months before the pandemic, you know, portfolio recovery was filing, um, I would say well over a thousand a month in Alabama. So they have really slowed down. I suspect that will increase. Some of these companies, they're trying to do things nationally. And so, you know, if you have a bunch of states where maybe the courts are still closed or they're kind of discouraging filing, you know, some of these companies may lower their filings nationwide, but that will certainly uh, come back with a vengeance here. Capital One, 529. So, you know, that's um, what, 160, 170 a month being filed and Discover 900, so about 300 a month, so 10 a day. So Discover Card suing 10 people a day in Alabama. Now, you know, I, I understand this might be more helpful if we had better perspective, you know, what were the first three months like of last year. And I thought about doing that, and honestly, it is 9.30 at night, and I've been jammed up all day in cases, and uh, so I just wanted to get this video out. And I'll try to keep these numbers going. You know, we'll take the next quarter and, and then I will do some comparisons with uh, not necessarily last year, but maybe 2019. So, uh, but I suspect that the next three months we'll see an increase. You know, Calvary will file more. LVMV, that's a pretty, pretty um, rapid pace of filing there. I don't know, maybe they can increase it. Uh, Midland probably will increase. I expect portfolio increase significantly. Same with Capital One and Discover. Obviously, a lot of other companies out there suing that I did not put on here. Uh, but this is just to give you an idea that there are a lot of lawsuits being filed because every now and then, you know, I run into lawyers, I run into consumers that say, no, John, there, are, there aren't many lawsuits being filed. You know, hardly any lawsuits are being filed. I'm like, what are you talking about? I mean, we got LVNV over a thousand a month the first three months of this year. That that's an incredible pace, you know, considering that 
during part of that time, we were still, you know, I mean, I hate to call it a lockdown because like nobody prevented us from leaving our house. But, you know, certainly there was a, a discouragement of, you know, widespread travel and things like that. And I mean, these companies just cranking out the lawsuits. So as things really open up, I think you'll see an increase and in maybe even by LVNV, certainly by Midland and Portfolio, I would expect to see a significant increase in number of cases filed. So anyway, I hope that you found that interesting. We'll kind of go back to our more uh, normal programming tomorrow where we'll answer questions. But this was something that I thought you might be interested in seeing the numbers and uh, the numbers are very easy to grab in Alabama. So I know other states, sometimes it's a little harder. But uh, you guys have a great evening, and I'll talk to you tomorrow. All right, bye-bye.